looking good. G'day, I'm Phil from PhilTech, and for our September update, we're going to do it in the engine test bay. So let's go and have a look at how we test a completed engine. So here we have the engine test rig with the safety guard, but we're going to move that out of the way so we can get in and have a closer look at the rig. If we look from here, we can see we've got these two tubes that overlap. You can see there's a slot in here, the exhaust systems, and that's connected. We follow them down into a device here that uh, captures any oil and then it's sucked up to a ventilation system. One of the most important things that we need to measure on a model aeroplane is the thrust. So let's see how we measure that. Well, if we look at the test rig, this bottom aluminium plate is bolted to the main frame, but the, the top plate here is connected via this linear rail so that they can float between each other. Around the back here, we have a load cell, and that measures force, and it's connected by this cable back to the data logger, which converts that measurement into a reading. We indicate in kilograms, because that's an easy way of understanding, of comparing with a model aeroplane weight. Let's have a look at the test rig from this side. We've got our battery box that uh, stores the 7.4 volt LiPo uh, that powers up the electronics for the engine. That's normally mounted in the model plane. We've got a gauge here that measures the fuel pressure. And the fuel pressure is also uh, indicated on the data log as well. Um, we can see that we've got the covers off the electronic box here because we need to be able to plug in some of our cables that uh, feed back to the data logger. Um, over here we've got the connections for all the servos that are normally connected to the radio controls. They go back to the control panel. Down here, we've got the radiator that we've mounted in the slipstream from the propeller. We've got some uh, thermocouple um, connected temperature sensors. We've got these devices here, uh, pressure transducers, and we're measuring the uh, coolant pressure in the system because it is a sealed pressurized cooling system and we need to maintain less than 10 psi. Over here we've got our manual control panel, we've got a, a digital readout for the engine RPM, we've got our cutoff switch, uh, we've got a mixture control can, we've also got the throttle control here. We move across, we've got the laptop that gives us our data from the data logger, which is this device back here. We will uh, convert that into graphs and make sense of it all afterwards. You can see on the thrust versus RPM graph I've created that uh, I've warmed it up at about 3000 RPM then I've revved it out to about 6000 RPM and delivered a, about 15 kilos of thrust.
Well, thanks for watching this video about the test rig. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, otherwise, keep having fun with your model planes or your engineering, and uh, we'll see you next time. And remember to like and subscribe. See ya.